Hey, my name is Joey Kimberling. Welcome to my class about beavers. Um, I'm, re I'm responding to a sheet um, that I got. Uh, I think of beavers as being, I love beavers. I absolutely love them. They are cute. They're the engineers of nature. They help replenish freshwater wetlands and they help the wetlands become home to many species that wouldn't have a, wouldn't have been able to be there unless the beavers brought them back. Um, and they help mitigate the effects of droughts and in arid areas. I, I say the engineers of nature because what they have to do, actually the pictures right here, and what they have to do is they have to dam up this whole area right here. So they have a, a still water they can put their lodge into. See this, this, this rapid water right here? If this rapid water were just going through all of it and this dam wasn't there, their lodge would be washed away and their pups would all not have a home. What their home looks like, their lodge, looks like this. This is a, all the still water behind here. That's, ne that's a necessary thing. They, they build up their home with mud and sticks and they build entrances into them and their pups live in them or the pups, the kits, that's what they're called. They're called kits. Um, they live, they live with them and yeah, they're just amazing. I think, um, they, if they're specialists or generalists, they're generally generalists. They're very choosy. They're choosy generalists. They eat bark, pond weeds, cattails, water lilies, ferns, leaves, and grasses. Generally. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I say choosy because they don't eat fish. At first, when I was doing my research, I thought they were even, I thought they would eat fish because it would make them really easy to have a house here and then have all your food in the pond around you, you know? But no, it's not true. They don't eat any fish, don't eat any meat. They're kind of vegetarians. You know, they're just chilling in their home. Um, they are case-selected species because they take care of their young for an extended period of time. They typically take care of them for about two or three years, and then they have to give them up. Um, they usually live about 25 years in the wild and 35 years in captivity. They are definitely type one because they subscribe to the case look at species kind of mode. And it means that they survive for a lot longer. Um, they typically have around 10 kits. That's a little puppy thing they used to have. Um, and what I mean by type one is that they survive a lot longer because they have few opportunities to have kids. They have a lot of kids, but you know, people like like Nigeria have an average of like seven or eight kids. It's crazy, but yeah. So they, their kids will stay with them for a lot longer. And some examples: type one, obviously humans. Type two are like birds. Type three are like frogs. They spawn a million eggs and don't expect very many of them to survive. Um, I think that we influence the beaver numbers by destroying their dams. Or in the case of Yellowstone National Park, when they got rid of all the wolves in the 1910s or 20s or whatever that period was, the caribou started overgrazing and they didn't leave enough wood or greenery for the beavers. So the beaver, so the beaver population went and completely nosedived. From what I've read up on, they there's a there's a fierce competition and debate to see if beavers are cool or not. The opinion is generally is generally split, fifty fifty. Um, these opinions are formed because of their manipulation of their environments and the dams they build. They can disturb habitats and stop fish from migrating because, you know. It's a dam. Like they can't, they can't, they can't go cross. That's why a lot of modern dams they have these like fish ladder things, and they help the fish 
migrate across the name. It's really cool, actually. Um, I don't actually think this leads to a lesser of a species. I don't think that that like human like mindset towards a certain species negatively impacts a species unless it is obviously endangered invasive or they are, are domesticated because deers they are generally viewed negatively but they're flourishing even with strenuous with strenuous hunting or car accidents so it doesn't really make a lot of sense and i think this whole reason that they're split the the pop like the a public opinion is split on beavers because generalists are generally viewed as more negative. They're more viewed ne negatively because most invasive species are inherently generalists. And I think case like the species are normally or generally viewed more positively because of their likeness to humans and how they take care of their young. You know, when people are more like other things, are more like you you like them more so just a thought thank you for listening have a great day